Hey everybody, so I did a couple pours the other day and they didn't turn out okay. Uh, they were very, very faded and drab and it all came down to me mixing my paints very thin, okay? I just feel like the, the paint sucked right into the canvas and all the life got sucked out of them. But my girlfriend, she kind of really liked this one even though it's kind of drab. And she said, well, isn't there something you can do to varnish it? And I was like, okay, let's let's try to varnish it. If it ruins it, that's fine, because I don't like it anyway. But she really likes this one. She says it looks like an agate. And uh, she's really into uh, rock hounding. So what we're going to try to apply to this is uh, Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. Okay? Just going to try to breathe life into this thing. And also, there was another one that happened that day that I really liked the pattern on it. But, uh, as well, it kind of like faded really bad because the, the paint was mixed very thin. You know, the, the, the effect to me right here, I love this. But just the, the, the faded look towards the edges is just horrible. It looks like faded denim jeans to me okay so we're gonna try to breathe life into this I've never used this stuff before let's see what happens okay so we've got our varnish here we've uh, mixed it up pretty good right some of you ASMR fans are loving the sound all right so, I'm just going to pour a little bit on here. It's supposed to dry clear, just like Elmer's glue dries clear. It goes on with a little white look to it. But, um, I'm afraid to use some of my brushes on this because uh, I don't want to get any bristles come out of the brush. So, I'm going to use this sponge and just pull this across. You can see it. That's kind of giving it a more wet look. I mean, when this thing was wet, it looked cool. But then it just faded really fast when it dried. Okay. So it's not pulling the paint because the paint's dry, and that's that's a good thing. And then we'll see if the sheen that it adds gives it some life. I don't want any uh, really bad streaks, so I'm going to go back and flatten them all. I've seen some artwork, especially at the local hospital, where they varnished it with this stuff that was uh, a clear stuff so that they could clean it later. They, they could just have their uh, janitorial crew clean their paintings uh, with like sterile wipes and stuff. Like in case somebody coughs or like bleeds and spurts towards the, the artwork that's on the walls, they can clean it very easily. But when they do that, they very often add these uh, lines in their varnish. So right now uh, it's added a little cloudiness to it, which I don't like, but we'll see what happens when this dries, okay? See if we get any, I guess, better feelings out of me about how this came out. And I'm going to set this one aside, and then we're going to try the other one that really faded, that I wanted to save. Alright, so I'll set that right there. And we'll go for this one. And this horrible faded section right here, I just, ugh, ugh, it got muddy and faded. Let's see if we can do anything. All right. Seems to be about that much to cover these things. All right. Going in.
Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I saw some life come in right there. I don't know that you guys saw what I saw, but... The camera's been rolling. Oh, oh, there's more life there, too. It is a little bit better looking. So, let's see. Maybe I just should have started off with gloss paint to begin with, but... Um, these were dirty cut pours, probably at the end of my uh, stash of paint here at home. So, you know, you never know what you're going to get. And then you never know if you're going to be attached feelings wise to something that's ostensibly a mistake, you know? That you're attached, but you're not attached. Let me just get these thick lines out of here. Got some cloudiness while it's still wet, but we'll come back when this is all dry and see what kind of new life we have breathed into this uh, painting that probably without this uh, effect I probably would have just painted over this and I that's a shame because I really love this part right here so uh, we'll be back okay we're back and did we save the paintings uh, I'm gonna say no no I not in my opinion um, you can still see the kind of faded edge here didn't really uh, do much as far as the color. Now you can see this sheen that I'm that I'm uh, trying to show off with the reflection right here. It's got this kind of fingerprinty uh, striation right there. Uh, th those brush marks. Uh, I feel like if I would have gone a little bit thicker with the varnish, maybe it wouldn't have as many streaks because it would have just settled on its own. It would have been flatter. But as is, you can see those streaks were added and uh, I don't know that I like that effect. Now as far as colors go, the area right here got a lot more life put into it and also right here um, it just it, it's like the uh, Liquitex soaked into the paint and brought it out a little bit more but uh, overall I feel like I'm gonna set this one aside maybe do some other things to it to try to tweak it to try to save this um, just uh, experiment with a little bit and how about the other one um, this is the agate uh, not much changed again you can see that it's added a sheen instead of matte and uh, that's nice and I think that's the effect that uh, my girlfriend wanted was it looks so much like an agate that she wanted it to have a, a sheen, a shine to it. So I'm going to uh, allow her to keep this. You know, um, maybe a little bit more of a success in that just the, the sheen alone uh, was a good thing. I feel like maybe a little bit more of that blue popped out right there because of what I just did, but. Uh, other than that, it didn't really change the overall color when you're looking at it uh, dead on without any reflection giving you more sheen. But uh, it does definitely give it a, fit, a feel more like when you cut a geode in half or cut a gemstone in half uh, when it has that sheen. So I, I guess this one we'll call a success. 